horrible noise like, and we're like okay oh, no. I didn't tear you. I didn't get it. It she's was, already cried about this three times today it was actually like a sque like squeechy squeechy squeech it was a terrible sorry. noise and we look up and there's two squirrels um attacking, attacking the other one the other squirrel and it was violent and so naturally I went and tried yeah. to break it up Not I was throwing sticks, but like poking them from <laughs> there it is it's right there climbing around the tree yeah, I, I okay. Don't know what's wrong with it? But it's, it was really, really, really. Also, we just need to point out the fact that we're wearing the same thing. Yeah, that wasn't planned, and that just kind of <laughs> shows our friendship and how similar our minds think. It just kind of happened. I walk upstairs and I look at her and I'm like, uh, and she's all, I'm like, uh, I'm gonna change, and she's like. And no. just how it should be. And it's just, it just makes sense. Anyways. All right, that was a big rant. <laughs> but today we want to talk about body image, which is like such a broad category. And so we're kind of just going to touch on some stuff, but definitely have more episodes about it later. Definitely. Definitely. Like, <laughs> there's a lot to go with this. But today I feel like we're kind of talking more about the standards that we've recognized throughout our time, I guess. Our, our time. time on like, Earth. Like, I'm super experienced and have lived a long seasoned life or so, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so comparison kind of, I don't want to say runs my life, but I've recognized, since I've started thinking about it, I've started recognizing it more and more throughout my life every single day. Like for example, I'll wake up, grab my phone and the first thing I go on, so I'm so annoyed that this is how it is in my life, but I'm being authentic. So I open up Instagram or TikTok or Snap or whatever, and I look and see all these pictures of these, I'm more thinking like Instagram fit models or Instagram workout people. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, if only. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> I'm saying, like I just find myself comparing myself to those people specifically. Mm -hmm. Then it's hard because when you, Think about how those girls probably compare themselves to other people and it's just kind of like this big cycle yeah. of comparison yeah we read this stat somewhere that like 91 percent of women are not happy with their bodies and that just blows my mind it's insane and i kind of wonder what it'd be like to grow up if we didn't have social media like would my anxiety be different would my perception of myself be different or perception of other people like what I actually like when I look at someone I'm like okay I don't look like her because of this or yeah like, or like she has this I don't have this should mm -hmm. I have this or should she have that yeah what it's just it's like that's so, much. so stupid that we spend our time and energy on that yeah one thing that I always am forgetting that I think is something that's really important to just you just kind of have to come to terms with is that a lot a huge part of what makes someone look the way they do is genetics some people are just born with a six pack <laughs> or born with like perfect arms or i was not born with a six pack <laughs> me either and i just <laughs> and it's just it's alarming to me I vividly remember like in high school like going dress shopping and it's oh like gosh. okay that dress doesn't look good on me like my body type is not flattering with this dress I and don't you're know. like with your mom and she's like that looks great and you're like mom and you're like mom do you not see how horrible this is? oh my gosh or like jean shopping <laughs> like jean shopping is quite horrible. and if you wear jeans for fun like, I just want to know why. Like, send us an email and tell us why and how you have I, the strength. I can't. I put like, them on for class and, and take like, them off immediately. Immediately. I regret it always. Always. Also, like, for me, when I go jean shopping, denim shop, I don't know, jean shopping, it's like I might, I have to be in a good mood at the beginning of the day. And by the time I get home, crushed. Crushed. Just mentally, physically. <laughs> Rushed. I think that another big thing has been when we have played college volleyball and we're we're in the locker room more than we're not in the locker yeah. room. 
and it's just a nice shout out to our team. Oh, I just feel like it's like an environment full of like people picking our like everyone's picking themselves apart. When I look at my team and I'm like, this is a team full of goddesses. We How work out anybody? so <laughs> much. We earn so many calories. It feels like we're constantly either working out, playing volleyball, or sleeping or doing homework. Like, you know? There's no way we can be unhealthy with the unhealthy amount of exercise that it's we. Like, there, you said it. Not just to mention the fact that we're wearing the tiniest uniforms anybody could have ever like, picked out for volleyball players. Like, why do we like, wear decide. It doesn't make sense. And I think, honestly, that's why <laughs> volleyball is so unique in the type of body image trials and grief that go into that sport. Because we're wearing tiny little spandex and then tight <laughs> shirts. Like, and what everyone's do you want for us? watching us, like... Like, what do you want from me? <laughs> like, I... <laughs> Like, you want me to be confident? All like, right. okay, great. I won't. I Let can't. me put on my uniform and my tiny little spandex and be confident. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Gosh. And one thing that we're going to start doing is to give some advice to our younger selves in each of these videos. So I would say, when it comes to body standards, some advice I would give my 12, 13-year-old self, little Casey, is to have more grace for myself. And I think me and Lexi both agree, like, healthy bodies are the best bodies and a lot of the time body standards that we're holding ourselves to aren't necessarily what might be the most healthy like the healthiest option especially for ourselves everyone's different everyone has a different different needs that they need to meet whatever but healthy bodies are the best and if your body doesn't look like the standard but you're as healthy as you can be and as happy as you can be that's great and that's awesome and and we kind of just want to we're challenging each other to do this as well but we also want to challenge you me and Casey have accepted the fact that we're both really bad at accepting compliments <laughs> like it's you always compliment the... me and I'm all flip it right back on to you and be like no girl like your hair looks good like like no you, but you have <laughs> such great eyes yeah it's that and, whole... I'm, and I always deny it at first I'm like and then it's annoying when you give other people compliments and they do that. You're like, no, just take it. But like, we're yeah, the exactly. biggest culprits of that. So, so <laughs> we're starting this week. We want to wake up every morning and look in the mirror. Super cringy and awkward, but no one likes look to at do this. this. <laughs> but look in the mirror and verbalize something that you like about yourself. That's scary That's to me. That's really scary. Like straight out of bed. Yeah. I mean, you don't like have to head, straight out of I bed. Don't know. But and I think I think we should practice accepting compliments. So, Lexi. I think you have the most beautiful hair I have ever seen. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I would I also you. like to give you a compliment. Oh. Okay, Casey has the best, be be <laughs> best teeth I have ever seen. Thank you. Like, look at that cute smile. Ding. <laughs> and I'd just like to reinforce, like, re say that me and Lexi are so far from being pros at this. Like, when I gave that advice to our younger selves, I'm constantly reminding myself, healthy body, perfect body. Like, that is, the healthy body is the best body. And so, us saying this and saying how we're gonna say good things to ourselves in the mirror every morning is not us saying, we've already mastered this. Yeah. We are so far from that. Like, we are still going through it. Yes. And we're gonna go through it with you and we're gonna have the best support system ever. And it's gonna be fun. So seven days, compliment yourself and try to just in the back of your mind be accepting of compliments others give you too. Yes, be gracious to yourself. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, like this, comment if you have any suggestions or things that you learned from us or anything. Anything. So yeah, have a great day. <laughs> Bye.